Hey guys, so today I will be opening up the polka dot sleepover set from our generation. And this set is so cute for 18 inch dolls, American Girl dolls, of course our generation dolls. And it comes with pizzas, pillows, deck of cards, hair straightener, iPod, toothbrush, toothpaste, cupcakes, all this fun stuff. And I cannot wait to open it up. So let's get started. Here is the first item in the set, and the largest of course, it's the sleeping bag. This half has flowers on it. Up here is just pink with white polka dots, and it says OG on here as the label. And then there's a blue ribbon, and then just the flower print all the way on the back. And up here, you can open it up to the side here, so your doll can fit in and they can go to sleep. And then, this set also comes with a fluffy pillow, and it's super soft and super fluffy. And on the back here is just a different material, oops. And there's a tag here, but it's not as crazy long as American Girls tags, which are ridiculous. But it's super soft and it's perfect for a sleepover. So up next, I have a deck of cards and we can open them up. This is confusing. There we go. So, there are these mini deck of cards, and they're actual real cards, which is really, really cool. And this is a Dentifrice mint toothpaste, and then this is a toothbrush which is pink and orange, and it's super cute and doll size, so, so adorable. Next we have this iPod, and it has the Our Generation logo on the back, and there's earphones. And the earphones are removable. You put them back in. And there's a little home button, and this screen's just silver, and nothing's gonna come up, obviously. But it's still really cute, and a cute little accessory for your dolls. Next, I have two cupcakes, one blue and one pink. Up next, we have two pepperoni pizzas, and they're typical at a sleepover. And they're so cute, and they're actually pretty light compared to the cupcakes. The cupcakes are actually super heavy, and they're really adorable and cute. There are two pinky purpley plates here to put the pizzas and the cupcakes on. Right, this is just a hair straightener and it's silver underneath. And then there's a curling iron and that's really adorable as well. Last but not least is the bag. It's pink with white polka dots and it has pink bows and handles and it's just a regular duffel bag that you take with you on a sleepover. You'd probably be able to fit everything inside here. It looks super big. It's one of those bags that are very deceiving where it looks really small, but you can fit in a ton of stuff like all of the American Girl suitcases and everything. So I will be going on holiday soon to England and friends, and I'm super excited about that. So I was packing and I thought I'd do a video showing you guys how I and packing for this trip with my dolls because I'm bringing two this time with me, Ginger and Penny. And I'm super excited about this because I am going to Disneyland Paris and I'm doing all this fun stuff. So let's get started. First off, I'm gonna sh tell you guys what Penny and Ginger are wearing on the plane or what they're traveling in. Obviously, they won't be wearing the Disney hats on the plane. That was just a little add-on. I just have their hair back and I have a headband on them. She's wearing the pet show headband and she's wearing the headband that came with Kanani's party dress. And this jacket is from Britland Madison and the jacket that she's wearing is from Buzz and Bee and they're both really cute front cardigans that will keep them warm on the plane but mainly it's to protect their arms so there's no scratches when they're in suitcases or in bags. They're both wearing t-shirts from Mini Me Dolly Diva and I love these t-shirts, they're so cute. And this one says I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm a Disney princess and this one says I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm Cinderella. And by the way, the reasons why I chose these two dolls is because their hair is very low maintenance. It's not as low maintenance as Julie or something, but 
it's not as hard to take care of as, for example, Luna or Poppy. Anyway, so now let's move on to the bottoms and the shoes. Here are the bottoms and the shoes. This side is totally AG and those are just AG jeans from one of the outfits. And these are the AG shoes that, you know, how you can buy shoes separately without an outfit. And these are the high top sneakers and they are so cute and they are so modern and fun and realistic and I'm glad AG made those. On this side, these are light wash jeans from Mod Chat Down Saloon and these high top sneakers are from Britlin Madison and they're really cool and fun and I recommend having closed toed shoes when you put them on the plane so their toes don't get dirty and especially if you put sandals or flip flops or anything like that on your doll they might slip off and you might lose the shoe so now i'll be showing you guys what clothes i'll be taking for my dolls and how i pack for them since i'm bringing two dolls i'm bringing double the amount of clothes i'd normally take for my dolls first off i have two fancy dresses i have this one and this one And then I have two casual sundresses. This one's just pink. And this one's the same one, but in orange. And then I have these two really, really pretty dresses. They're like kind of like sundresses. And lastly, I have these two dresses here. And this one. So those are all of the dresses that they will be taking and now I'll be moving on to jackets. Here I have this really pretty oversized coat and this is really nice for the dresses that they'll be taking or anything along those lines and it's really big. And then they will also be taking this other really cool jacket. They will be bringing two pairs of shorts this one, as you can see, is from Billy Madison here. And here's another pair of denim shorts. They will be bringing two lace shirts. This one is see-through, so I just brought a tank top to put underneath this shirt. And this one already has lining underneath, so I don't need to bring a tank top for that. And I love these. I'll be bringing two tutus for them. Bring this one or frilly skirts. This one, which is sparkly white, and this one, which is pink with love hearts on it. Some leggings and long sleeve tops in case if it gets cold. So here is one long sleeve top that they're bringing, and here is the second one. And then they're bringing two leggings. This one's just some jeggings. And these are just black leggings. One quote shirt each besides the ones that they're wearing on the plane. This one says, I'm the favorite. And this one says, I'm a doll and I know it. Here are just two casual outfits or like full piece set outfits. There's this one with these pants. And then there's this one with these pants. And of course they need some PJs, so they'll be bringing one pair each. These ones are Sage's PJs from last year. And these ones are the Peacock Pajamas from My American Girl. Now I just have some skirts and some tank tops. Here's the first set and they're really cute. And then here is the second one. I am bringing two pairs of swimmers, one each. So here's the first one. This one's just an exclusive from American Girl. And this one's the Tankini and Sarong from um, My American Girl, except I'm not bringing the Sarong, I'm just bringing the Tankini. some accessories that they're bringing. I've already showed this at the beginning of the video, but they're bringing their Disney ears because they are going to Disneyland Paris. 
and they're going to bring two Disney themed outfits. One of them will be wearing the Anna outfit with the cape, which is really cute. And the second one will be wearing this Snow White outfit. And this one's actually from Disney because they have an 18 inch collection. And this outfit is really adorable. And as for the shoes that they'll be taking, they're not bringing as many shoes as they are with outfits, but I like the shoes that they are bringing because they're already wearing two kind of sneaker boots. I'm not bringing any boots. Here are just some cute shoes. And here another pair of cute shoes that they can both wear with their dresses and more fancier occasions. And then here are some sneakers that they can wear every day while they're walking around. And here's the other pair. As for hair accessories, I won't be bringing too many because the suitcase is mainly filled up with clothes. <laughs> so of course I need a doll hairbrush. Everyone needs a doll hairbrush. And this one's just from American Girl. And then I'm bringing my accessories in this little Journey Girl case. And here it is, I have some pins here. I have some really cute clips here, which are Mickey Mouse shapes. And then I have some scrunchies and some hair ties. So now we've gone through all the clothes, it's time to see what they're gonna bring on the plane. So here is Ginger's luggage. First off, she has her boarding pass with her passport and everything. And then she has a neck pillow and an eye mask, a laptop, a face towel, a book, a magazine, some playing cards, an iPod, a camera, and a toothbrush and toothpaste. And the bag I'll be using for Ginger is this American Girl Inner Star University backpack. And it came with a bunch of like school supplies and this bag is so perfect for her to travel with. Everything fitted into the bag. So now I'll be moving on to Penny's carry-on. Here's everything that Penny will be bringing. First off, instead of bringing a neck pillow like Ginger, she'll just be bringing a big, soft, fluffy pillow. And then she'll be bringing a camera, her passport and ID, and everything with some money. And the Isabel and Sage book toothbrush and toothpaste, a face wash, some skincare moisturizer, an iPad, and of course her iPod. So the bag that I'll be putting this in is just this doll size bag. Here's everything inside the bag and now it's nicely stuffed. Here are the two carry-ons and as you can see, I stored quite a few items in these bags. So now I'll be moving on to the next part of the video. So here's the first suitcase that I'll be taking for my dolls and this one's from American Girl as you can see and it is amazing. It opens up, has wheels and it has a little tag. It is the cutest set ever. If you ever find this on eBay, I definitely recommend you grab it because it is so cool. So inside, there's plenty of room to fit stuff in and it's very deceiving because you can fit a lot of things in here actually compared to the size. You think, oh, you can't fit too much in, but you can actually fit a lot in. The second suitcase that I'll be taking for my dolls is this one. I've just stuck a few stickers on to make it look more decorative because it was very empty. So you can open up like that, and there is four wheels rather than two, and you can click this open, and you can fit stuff in here as well. So both of these suitcases are really adorable, and I really like how one 
is more girly and that's just this blue color. Just grab the suitcase that I'll be using for this trip and I'll be placing two dolls in here and I'll be showing you guys how to place two dolls in a suitcase when you're traveling. So pretend this blanket is clothes, this blanket is from Walt Disney World. What you'll be doing is you'll be placing a layer of clothes and then how I keep my dolls protected is I grab a doll sized sleeping bag and what I will be doing is I will be stuffing her body head first into the sleeping bag. This may be a little bit suffocating for the dolls except it works really really well. So I'll just place them in the corner here nice and protected and then I'll grab my second doll here and this is a Build-A-Bear sleeping bag where I'll just zip her up. This one's a lot easier to put in and I'll just be placing her next to her. And then what you do is you place another pile of clothes on top of them so that way they're sandwiched in between the two piles of clothes and if the suitcase drops and it hits the ground they'll be nice and wedged in and they won't get hurt or they won't be damaged at all. And I think this is a really nice way of keeping them nice and secure. You can do the same thing if you're taking your dolls on carry-on. You can see here, there's a doll sandwiched in there. And then you can just place the second one on top. And then you can place their two little carry-on backpacks inside and you still have enough room to stuff whatever you need in there as well. I hope this helped you out on how to travel and pack with your dolls on carry-on, on suitcase, and how to travel with two dolls rather than one, because I've done plenty of how to packs with one doll or a Disney style one, but I've never done it with two dolls and I've never showed you guys how to pack it in a suitcase. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.